Okay, working on the home gym. The rowing machine came, and I grabbed my little jukebox, which is actually a radio slash CD player, out of a different room. Gate to keep the pug out, because he pees on everything. Brought the elliptical in and cleaned it up. It could use more cleaning, to be quite honest, so that's why I put it on a little rug, just to make sure it doesn't get the carpet icky. Miscellaneous free weights. This is a desk cycle peddler, um, which I'm using with a transfer chair in a locked wheel position to simulate a recumbent uh, bicycle, but I do have a recumbent bicycle on order. I have my rebounder. That's a portable DVD player for exercise videos, my husband's inversion table, and some miscellaneous yoga stuff. I took the CHOPS protocol and disassembled it. Uh, that's not from the CHOPS protocol. Those are just kettlebell exercises that do not change the position of your head. So that's in there for strength training days. But I took the stretches and the exercises that they have kind of all smushed together and separated them out into one page each. So it'll be easier for me to navigate when I'm doing the things. I have not yet separated them out into stretches versus exercises. So I will do that next. This was surprisingly time consuming. And I was shocked at how many there wound up being. Some of them I kind of look at and I go, yeah, that's not gonna happen. Some things to be done in the room. My husband's going to be putting in some trim today. I think baseboard trim and maybe some door and window trim, but I do think that it probably won't get all finished until next week. Um, we only have about half of the radiator cover that we need in order to get it done. So it's going to happen. It's just not all going to happen today. This is where we're at right now. Five to ten minute warm up, which I'm doing right now. Three minutes go hard, two minutes go easy, three minutes go hard, and then a cool down. We'll see how long I last. Alexa, chops month one. Warm up for ten minutes. Best friends with benefits. Hey, all right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> I think I'll turn the resistance up. Yeah. Like that. Oh god, that is hard. Okay. Okay, I didn't film the rest because I'm dying. <laughs> I did use the rowing machine. Um, my knee did act up, but I was able to make adjustments. Now I'm finishing a one-legged cool-down. Because there's a, a tendon on that right knee that is just not with the program. So, I gave it my all. I rolled off. <laughs> I rolled off the rowing machine onto the floor at the end of the second three-minute push. That's just hard. Whew. But I did it, so I'm going to graduate myself today to tomorrow, which will be strength training day. Cardio day is the worst, right? I love strength training, so. Okay. Like I said, this isn't going to be easy, and it sure isn't going to be pretty, but we're going to do it. It's going to be fine. We're going to be healthier at the end of it. The bad thing is that a workout a poop shout and then a shower also poop shout when you have dysautonomia, particularly pots. The showers are a big struggle for a lot of people. Um, so I think for those people, it might be better to do this in the evening, take a shower and go straight to bed because I can't see the rest of the day being useful at all. It'll be interesting to see how useful I am for the rest of today. <laughs> I'm gonna go with not very. Um, 
So let's set a goal and see if I can meet it. My goal is to put away all of the clean laundry in my bedroom. So we'll use that as a benchmark. <sighs> all right, so that's CHOPS protocol. Month one, day one, which is cardio. Tomorrow with the strength. <sighs> okay, have a great day.